Hi guys, Snake Doctor here. Welcome to part 11 of Deponia. Right, well we left uh, Rufus here yesterday, uh, sitting in his minecart, just been dropped down and done a lap round. Uh, I don't know if this is, is right, but we'll take him round a, round a lap round the, uh, round the track again. Let's see what happens. Right, well we're back now with the button, which I guess can take us back upstairs. So let's uh, let's do that. Back in the control room now, and we've got old Gold here with us. You're quite heavy, babe. And I thought you were making yourself extra heavy when I lugged you up the hill just now. Never mind. The controls are exposed, and I have a circuit diagram. This will be easy as pie. That's good. Well, this is opened up now, so we've got three levers. We've got the yellow, the red, and the green. Some dials and a button. All uh, right, let's have a look. Hmm. Right, these all change. Okay, so we also got to work out how to route the tracks to get us where we need to go. I don't quite know where we need to go. I guess it's P two. Mm -hmm. Ah, yep, all clear. I don't have any trouble with pasta recipes. Right. So let's. Uh, I don't know, let's just try moving some around for a bit. Uh, I don't know, let's just try that, shall we, and see what happens. Oh, here we go. Right, well, that clearly didn't work. So let's have a look. Let's try that one down then. Just try this right try on there, I guess. Yeah, now we're really going places. Oh. Check it out, babe. Got an achievement, so maybe we're right here. Oh, Rufus, you really are the best. True, so very true. <laughs> if you like that, then you'll love what's coming next. Oh, yeah. Look, the rails are still mm. warm. What? Don't say you've already got one of these new infrared visors. Um, no. My beard sonar has gone to red alert. They have to be somewhere close by. I'll send a helmet fax to the bailiff immediately. You two are shitting me, right? <laughs> Hold on for a second. My shoulder seismograph is giving me strange readings. You're right. I feel it too. Uh, um, guys, strange? According to the sole barometer in my boot, the ground pressure hasn't changed. My sock spectrometer is still processing the data. Um, guys, so it can't be an earthquake. Wait, my kneecap ultrasound detector is registering strange readings from... Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. Hopefully we're gonna. Yes, looks like we've done it. Brilliant. Ah, end of the line. Poor girl, she's really hey, going through it. I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm not an easy man to break. <laughs> they call him Rufus. Rufus. And what a sight! The Lower Ascension Station. Ah, I did it once again. You see that? I did it! I, I, I... Oops. Maybe I should get you to a place that is a little more comfortable. Luckily, it'll be a downhill ride from here. So, do you want to be carried? Which would be plain boring. Or, do you prefer the fun and fast way? Fun and fast is yes. always good. Hey, another tune. Historians would die for a way to decipher 
Apparently missing text passages here They still found no reasons why scratches and lesions Related to gold subsequently appear But then why should it bother you? For he finally managed to haul her more or less unharmed to the rendezvous spot And that without expecting any pay Except for the reward for taking a thought about the context So get on with the plot so get on with the plot Okay. Well, you'll be safe here for now. We just need to wait for your fiance to show up. <laughs> that Cletus guy is really a lucky fellow. Stop by, shop. He'll keep his promise. Well, now we just have to wait. I guess I should search for a way up to the platform on top of the tower. The view should be good from up there. Huzzah! Get on with the plot. Achievement unlocked. Okay. All right. Let's see what we've got to do. We got a one Anchovy fish of the day, machine. please. Ugh, I should have said which day. We'll have those, I suppose. All the good fish. I'm not letting it go to the maggots. Ha! There they come, already cheering. No, just a minute. They're declining. <laughs> Cute. No, I still have some. All oh, right, okay. Well, let's try and let's try and get him to eat that, shall we? Okay. Come on, Rufus. Uh, what do we do now? The switches change the lights. There are three on this side and one on the other. Hmm. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Aha, one off, two on. I'm getting there. Three and three. That's six, isn't it? Yep. I don't think that does anything. What does this one do? Oh, this selects the flavor of the cotton candy. Huh, seems to be broken. I'm sure I have to solve this lever problem first. I know how things are going down here. Hey, there's something behind it. What the? A plug! Oh, man. <laughs> it's not plugged in. Okay, let's see if we can plug the machine in then. Not really. You crazy? It can't be that easy. <laughs> uh... Oh, man, yeah, it's that easy. Okay. We've got white at the moment at the top there. Suspicious lumps coming down the machine. Uh, One serving of cotton candy, please. I suppose the machine has no ears and no eyes. Otherwise, it'd be able to see who it's dealing with. Huh, I think some kind of stick has to go in there. Aha, uh -huh, right, so we need, to, we need to use this then, don't we? Want some fish? Hey, you're the one who's dispensing the stuff, remember? I want the stick. Let's put it in there, can I? Machine, create a new flavor from this. I hate gadgets that only do what they were designed for. <sighs> hmm. They're all prime numbers. They're all prime numbers. Okay. So we've got to do something with this, haven't we? Surely. Yummy! Skewered anchovies. They had those oh. when I was a kid, too. Wow! Exactly those. Any foodie knows anchovies get better the longer they're stored. Mm. Mm. Oh. 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 
nice. All I wanted to have was the stick anyway. <laughs> okay, we've got a stick, so let's see so if we can get this, this uh, cotton candy, the candy floss. There we go, neutral cotton candy. I don't know what we do with that, but... You don't even taste the sugar. Okay. It's impossible that these levers don't have any significance. It's simply impossible. Now it's set to calzoni. Now it's set to phosphor. Phosphor. Let's try that one. Candy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, what we're doing here? So let's just try this. Let's try the chewing gum machine. Chewing gum and fast. What? Hmm. I want chewing gum. Huh. Voice control seems to be broken. Chewing gum. doesn't say anything about flavors. There's a dancing cockroach depicted instead with a hat and a cane. <laughs> That's stupid. Mm. I'll keep the rest for later. Okay. Much later. Alright, so we've got some chewed gum and some phosphor green cotton candy. That's all in here for now. Let's move out into the lobby. Okay. That's the entrance to the candy shop. After Dad left me, I lived there for a week. Or was it an <laughs> hour? <laughs> Time passes so slowly when you're high on sugar. <laughs> huh. The mosaic depicts a group of trash crabs in a mating ritual with cocktails and colorful twisted straws. Or it doesn't. It's hard to make out any details without any light. Okay, so we've got to... Turn on the lights, I suppose. There's a mount for the torch in the niche. There are mirrors around it to focus the light. That can only mean one thing, or a puzzle. nothing. One or zero. Let's look out here, see if there's anything that we need. This jumps out straight I'll save away. my telekinetic powers for later. Okay. Pretty deep and bright. Might be the nuclear reactor down there. Yeah, that would really be super cool. Oh, he doesn't want to go as in long there. as nobody's watching, it would be a total waste of effort. Okay, let's go back in then. Let's have a look up here. There's a mount for the torch in the torch to go in this there one. There are mirrors around it to focus the light. That can only mean one thing or nothing. One the same as the other zero. one. Okay. Piece of stone. Mosaic stone. Okay. That must be a piece of one of the mosaics. And... Hey, hey, hey! Someone has scribbled something on it. Where's the rest of the message? Right, so we need to see what that is. Let's have a look at this one. I believe there's a tool that was specifically designed to remove dirt. At least, I think Tony once <laughs> mentioned something like that. Okay. 
I believe there's a two at least right only mud and dust that's all I can make out uh, the only light back here can we do anything with this it's phosphorus for bulbs isn't it hey hey my epic that's Gregorian good. choir is back I thought I'd left that behind at the crane so can we now use that in here something <coughs> hmm. huh. the mosaic depicts the upper class leaving the planet the lower class remains behind whoa those guys are really fed up they shout at the traitors and shove barbecue lighters and sausages on giant forks in their faces must have been barbecue Thursday Okay, let's have this back. Might be able to use that in the other one then. Let's see if this one works as well. Fantastic. Huh. The mosaic depicts uh, a bunch of little guys. They seem to be building something. The raggedy clad little guys carry giant steel girders up a steep ramp. The fancily clad ones stand at the side and design fancy ornaments. Hey, that's the Ascension Station, the departure to Elysium, and I'm there too. Great, right, so that's, uh, that's that then. I don't really know what that's, uh, what that's given us, but we've done something. Let's go back in here now. Look at that other one open, haven't we? It's the elevator, let's have a look in there. Hmm. Okay. The input panel for the elevator code. We used to have one of those at our front door until I found out the password. Time is on my side. Today, I am going to leave Deponia. Huh. The clock stopped. So we can do this control panel. R U F U. That wasn't it. Maybe this? R U. Nah, I've tried that. But what else could it be? see whether it's full or not. Plus, I don't have a match to shed light on the bottom. Too bad. Well, let's go and try and clean this uh, mosaic because that uh, clearly was what this mop was for. So, do we need water? Well, this alone won't do for mopping. I also need toning, or at least <laughs> some water. Need some water, okay. Now, I wonder if we can go back out to that pool green pool so we can use that uh, right bucket in pool it's not the best looking water but hopefully it will do the job so put it back in your pocket uh, we've got the bucket with water Let's go back now and see if we can clean this. Okay. Soap in bucket. Mm, foamy. Bucket with mop and mop on mosaic. I can't believe I'm doing this. I hope the historians will never learn about this bit. <laughs> Come on, Rufus. Be 
manual labour never hurt anyone. Oh. Crap, the mop broke. <laughs> what an unfortunate occurrence. So we've got a mop handle and a mop head. But this is now open, so clean rather, so let's see if we can open this up and shove the shove the cat cotton candy in there. Right. Huh. The mosaic depicts the cable boat leaving Deponia, just like I will be doing soon. And hey, hey, hey! Someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. At least it's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Fantastic. Well, I've got a piece Crap. of mosaic. I'm not sure if it's all oh, got other achievement. History of Deponia. Uh, right, let's see if this. Well, it's not going to fit the whole hole, is it? That the stone won't stick. What now? Uh, gum. Is this going to work? Someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. At least, it's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Now we'll have to use some extraordinary dexterity. There are still more pieces. Blimey. Well, no problem. I'll have that solved in no time. Okay. Let's have a look. So that goes up there. It fits in there, I guess. Good that if it shows you if it's wrong, if it's wrong. Oh, that was right. Okay. for that looks like it's about right. That fits in there. No. Nope. Fit in there. Oh yeah, of course the line's going down there. Okay. So you need a piece with a line on it. That must be there. Uh, looks like the line's there, doesn't it? It's right, but see not. Let's go there. We've got a few more bits now. Or at least it's not going in when it's wrong, which would be a nightmare. Okay, I was right. So, huh? Why doesn't this fit? I guess I'll just have to press harder. Go in! Go in! <laughs> Damn thing! You're supposed to... Oops. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What about the elevator code now? Damn it. 
that's not good. Huh. Now the shard is hopelessly destroyed. Well, that's going far too the easily. Gum still looks all right. <laughs> yeah, just hit the chewing uh, gum. But it's no better than it was before. Okay, what have we got behind here? Hello, oh, mate. Fuse box. Okay. Ah, torch. The system reboots. <laughs> the code for the elevator has been reset. Here comes the new one. <laughs> Something really cool. <laughs> Rufus. -U there you go. F U S. Oh yeah. Well, I guess we're going to the elevator. R U F U S. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? The password is Rufus. I've said it myself. Or have I gone crazy? Right, well, we're up on the roof. Well, so far, so good. Now I just have to wait. Hmm? What's that sound? Oh dear. Come the organ on. An Organon cruiser? What are they doing here? Is this a trap? Is Cletus an ally of the Organon? Well, I guess I'll have to take a closer look to find out. Alright, I think we'll save that for the next part. Uh, I think that's a good place to stop. So, thanks for watching. Um, join me again for the next part and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens to, uh, to Rufus in the next part of his adventure. Cheers guys, bye bye.